Hello, folks! A little bit of a long time no see. I'm level 10 now, as you can see. Wow! I had like little, little awful grinding sessions for like three days, and I think it took me like a total of seven hours to get to level 10. Uh, you need a little adjustment there, so I think that should be good, maybe. I dropped my camera the other day by accident, and now it's kind of wonky. Anyways, we're level 10, and immediately after I leveled up, I got the the trigger for the next main quest. We got a little vision from Medora. However, um, you know, because I wasn't recording, obviously, you can't see that, that vision, the little pop-up message, so I'm just gonna read it. Your vision hazes and the world grows dim. Out of the gray, a woman's face appears. Medora! Player's first name. Your efforts to free me have not been in vain. I have discovered a powder... powder? That will soothe the ghost of my beloved Lysandus. Oh shit. However, it is in the hands of Gortwog. Damn that Gortwog. He's thieving everything, dude. Warlord of the Orcs in his steel citadel of Orsinium. Go to him in Orsinium and see if there's anything you... you... I haven't recorded in a few days, folks. Also, I just got out of bed like half an hour ago. Um, um. Go to him in Orsinium and see if there's anything... That could be done to persuade him to give it to you. Bring the powder to me and the Dureni Tower once you have it. The vision clears. Sometimes you wish sorceresses would just send you letters like other folks do. Okay. We're gonna head over to Orsinium. But yeah, that, uh, that seven hour grind was no fun whatsoever. <laughs> that was nightmarish. I mean, part of the reason it took so long is because during the first, like, four or five, now four hours or something, I was, I was yapping with my friend on Discord, so I wasn't fully present for that, but regardless, it was, it was, it was no fucking fun, folks, but it's all done, and the rest of the series should be pretty smooth sailing from, from here on out, oh my god, it's snowing, because, um, oh shit, oh shit, I fucking mauled people, like, twice yesterday because of this. Oh, good heavens, bro. I don't see any people out here. It's really fucking... Bob Schlopimus is fiending for the innocent right now. My goodness, dude. Yeah, I read it. Go away. What was I even talking about? Oh, yeah. It's all smooth sailing here because, you know, me being level 10, the rest of the main quest is now unlocked. Every quest from here on, the minimum requirement is level 10. Also, oddly enough... I uh, went to a dungeon uh, the other night when I was grinding, and it was like, there was vampire ancients all over the fucking place. They were mopping the floor with me, but like, they weren't quite as nightmarish as, as you know, that one from last episode was. I think it was just because that one was hidden behind a door and like, I didn't have, there was no reaction time to like, respond to the fucking thing. Oh shit. I'm gonna cast a little shield here. I got a decent amount of magic now, 161. Pretty good. Invisibility. Oh, shit! oh, he just killed this guy. They can do that? Get over here, Stanko. There we go. And I've been, uh, I've been finding adamantium weapons here and there. Like adamantium swords and stuff. And, uh, they have, at least from what I've seen, they have the exact same stats as Mithril, which is what I currently have. So, I don't know what the point of that is. They're just black, instead of blue. So, I mean, maybe it's just a stylistic thing. I'm not too sure. Gortwog, you fucking goober. So, Adora wants the dust of restful death. Only because I respect the memory of the King Lysandus will I do this. The dust can be found in Greensley Hall. That's a bad thing, but I'll get into that in a sec. On her own island. Tell Medora that the price is her support of my claim to the heart. What the fuck? She'll know what it means. Okay, Greensley Hall. That's an issue. The, uh... The, the UESP, um, said that it is highly likely that Gortwog will send you to, like, some, some other place or something. I forgot the name of it. Um, Greensley Hall is not that place, therefore I don't have a fucking walkthrough for Greensley Hall. I think we'll head over to the fucking... What island was it? Isle of Balfiera, right? Hold up. Sick. 
I'll search it up. I'll see if maybe there is a, a walkthrough, but I doubt it. Yeah, I don't know. Not looking like it. But, I got some time to record today. I do have things to do, but I'm probably gonna have to set it all aside for this today. It is oh well. Episode should be out on time. Might upload it at about 4, but I've done that before. Where the fuck is this place? I love snowstorms where I can't fucking see anything. That is so cool. Okay, thank you for the tinnitus. We love that. I don't fucking... This is a wasteland. I'm gonna, like, re-teleport here. Also, you know what? Hold up. Because I felt the need to hunt the innocent. Maybe I should just head over to a village somewhere. Blackhead. Let's go over to Blackhead. Let's do a little maulin. We do a little maulin. It's fine. Entering Blackhead. I feel like I've been to Blackhead before. I feel like I've had Blackheads before. Hello. What do they got here? Oh, it's like an actual city. Sick. I... I kind of think I should do a training session while I'm here, and I don't know if I have anything to sell or not. Yes, I do. I got a crappy little sword I want to get rid of and all this stuff, too. Frick! Okay. Excuse me! What do we got in this town? General store is probably my best bet. Show me on my map. Ahaha. Ha. Okay, cool. It's right there. What the fuck, dude? They got voodoo's here. Goddamn. Oh, great. This dude doesn't want to fucking buy my, my random miscellaneous items. I don't know why I had that sword on me. I picked it up by accident last night or something. But yeah, no, I think I gotta go to a pawn shop for all this stuff. That's so cool. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I, um, got to the point in the Temple of Akatosh where I have freaking potions now. As you can see, I just got a bunch of healing potions and stuff. I haven't used fucking any of them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, there's no... From what I saw, there's no spell reflection potion. So, that whole thing with the vampire ancient, that shit's just flat out not happening. Because, like, I have a... Do I even have a spell reflection spell? If I do, I don't... Yeah, 2.15. Two That's not happening for a long ass time. I've been dumping all my level up points into, into intelligence. And, I don't know, you only get, like, freaking two points of magicka or something. For each time you do that, I don't know what the ratio is, but it's not great. I want to go to this little place over here, this temple, get a little training session. I've been hooked on getting training sessions lately. That's part of the main way I've been leveling up. But I'm also at the point where trainers refuse to train me on a lot of stuff because my fucking skill exceeds theirs. Oh, sick. They're part of the temple of Akatosh as well. They won't charge me up the nose. If I go to a temple that I'm not associated with and I ask for training, they charge me like 3,000 gold. So, glad that's not happening here. But yeah, if I want destruction, he's like, nah, fuck that dude, you're too good. Ugh. Daedric's, er, Daedric. Alteration's been what I've been going after lately. Don't want to go that way, someone's bound to have their nipples out. Very cool. Okay, well I guess I'll just rest a little bit and then maul some people in the morning. Just a little morning mauling. And then we'll then we'll head out, dude. But yeah, it did not look like there was a walkthrough for Greensley Hall. I know what I'm looking for in there. There's supposed to be a mummy that I gotta kill, and it has this this dust of restful dead or whatever. But yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. Okay, I have freaking rested, got no skill increases, so that's good. I got I had the training session, and then I spammed some uh, spells with my remaining magicka, because that's been the other way that I've been leveling up. Without further ado, let's do a little bit of a, a little bit of a manslaughter real quick here. This will assure that I'm not one shot like I am right there. Oops, don't want to press that. Oh. And I cast heal a few times so I can get a little bit of that restoration experience. Oh yeah. Oh, where am I going? What's the quickest way out of this 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 shite hole, dude? Keep heading friggin' east. Okay. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. I didn't even find the fucking entrance for it. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what I'm looking for here. It's probably just going to be like a like a little cave looking thing like they usually are, but I've been fooled in the past. God, bro. I'm going to have like I'm going to be spending more time looking for it than I am going to be like inside of it. This is this is going to suck ass. Oh, that's probably it right there. In the fucking water. Nope, that's not it. That's a rock. Okay, cool. I, I genuinely... Okay, there, <laughs> there it is. It's all good. Okay, let's rest until my man is up. There we are. Hop in there. Save. Or I'm gonna use my recall spell and then save. Oh shit, we got the cool song again. Okay. Recall has been my best friend these past couple of days. Okay. Mummy moving. Dude, we gotta find a fucking mummy. This really, really, really annoying thing in this game. Where, um... And this has only happened with side quests so far, luckily. But, like, someone will send me into a dungeon to get werewolf's blood. And, oh, fuck, what is that, dude? Daedric Longsword! 8 to 22... Holy okay. Damn bro, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn I'm I'm freaking out like it's not literally the same thing but just red, but you know. Anyways, yeah, no, someone will send me somewhere to get like again, let's just say let's say werewolf's blood or whatever, okay? And I'll go in somewhere and I'll find like a loot pile and I find werewolf's blood, but that's not what they fucking wanted, dude. It's no what they fucking want. They want me to go in there for like fucking four hours until I just stumble upon a werewolf randomly and then get the blood off of that. It's so fucking annoying. It's so annoying. So I'm hoping something like that doesn't happen here. I hope I don't fucking see some like loot pile and find dust of restful dead. I go, oh, that's it. And then that's not it. But I guess we'll see what happens. There's a ghost in here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Pussy. Oh, little amulet for me very cool okay these are not always teleporters but in this case it is there's a fucking giant first time I fought one of them on camera I fought a few off camera though Saints hair Griffin's feather cool 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 yeah Giants will like randomly attack me when I'm resting outside of a city sometimes I just hope there's no fucking vampire ancients in here. Because once I found that one, they just started spawning in as, like, regular mobs. Which was really annoying, but I haven't seen one in a, in a hot minute, luckily. Where's this dang mummy? Where's this dang dust? What's a fella gotta do to get some dust around here, bro? Hello. Check out my friggin' my big old goofy tavern fucking beer mug that I got on Amazon. Oh my goodness. Can I talk about my stupid alcoholism in peace, you biatch? But yeah, no, I got that because there are no glasses in my house that are big enough to put like a full like 500 milliliter can of beer into. Like I always have to like pull or pour half the fucking thing and then you know just do it that way. So I decided I'm going to get myself a comically large fucking tankard and just do it that way. And uh, yeah, definitely haven't been having two beers a night out of that. Um, <laughs> I am slowing down. I'm not having one tonight. I'm probably not going to drink tomorrow night either. I don't want this to become like a fucking thing. I still don't know if I have like an addictive personality or not. Like, I don't know. There are addicts in my family, but I've, I've... I've had addictive things before and not been addicted to them, you know? Like, yes, I drink coffee regularly, but, like, whenever I go a day without coffee or multiple days without coffee, I'm not sitting there craving it. Like, I don't have a caffeine thing. I just like coffee. I like how it tastes. I don't need it to get by or anything. But, um, you know, it's the same thing with weed. Like, I, sure, sure, smoking a little joint in the evening's nice and everything, but I don't want to fucking be doing that regularly you know what i mean it's like a it's like a once every couple of weeks type of thing for me but yeah um beer unfortunately i i find to be quite delicious therefore <laughs> i'm like 
always wanting it. So, <laughs> gonna try to fucking cut down on it. I've, I've, I'm, I'm in the very bad position of finding beers that I actually like to drink and that I think taste good. I got freaking Krabby's ginger beer. That's alcoholic ginger beer, for the record, last night. Good heavens, that stuff is delicious. It's got that fucking... That, that, it's got Asian ginger in it, that, that pink stuff you get when you get sushi. I eat that stuff on its own when I have sushi sometimes. I love it. Hello! But, um, yeah, it's made with that. And it, it's like, it's like ginger ale, but not as sweet and more gingery. It's super good. I've been drinking fucking Guinness, dude. I, I, I was like kind of iffy on the flavor of Guinness at first, but then all of a sudden it's just like the texture just got me. There's something so nice about how smooth it is. God! I got this Mexican beer in the fridge that's like really sour. They put they put lime juice in it, and I like sour stuff a lot. So you drink that, and then there's like the aftertaste of the, the, the barley or wheat or whatever it is they put in it. So it's got like a bread aftertaste that all beer has. Therefore, you get the lime flavor with that, and then it tastes like fucking like lime pie. Or something. It's so freaking good, dude. But yeah, no, I'm gonna fucking hold off on it for a while. I, I Like I said, I don't want this to be a thing where every single night I come home from work and I'm like, I need my beer. Can't be having that happening. Good heavens. So yeah, I don't have my... I, I didn't even mention, there's not there's not beer. There's coffee in it. See? See? Coffee, dude. I put cream in it just so it doesn't look like a stout. Just so you'd believe me. But you know, I need my coffee today. Still getting... My sleep's improved a little bit, but it's certainly not great. Jesus, dude! What the hell's going on in here? Have I been in this area? No. I have not looted this. I'm not at the point where I can make potions. At the... Um, uh, the order of the hour yet. But I can buy potions off them. Off them. I can't fucking talk. What else is new? <laughs> Where's this dang mummy? Did you take fall damage, you pussy, you idiot? No, but she's stuck in the wall now. There we go. Oh, this game has fucked my posture up so bad, dude. This is the only um PC game that I have that I don't use a controller on. Because th how the hell am I going to use a controller on this? And as a result of that, I'm like hunched over my fucking keyboard here. I've tried to adjust my chair a little bit, but like if I put it too low, then I'm not even going to be in frame anymore. Oh, it sucks. My like upper back is so freaking tight and I like have to hang off the edge, the, the, the edge of my bed to like stretch it. Just like upside down like a bat or something. And it works, it helps, but like if I'm at work or something, I can't just like tell a customer to wait a second while I hang off the fucking edge of the edge of the till, you know? That's maybe not the coolest thing to do. Yeah, yeah, I freaking, I freaking, I freaking. Once I got like a decent amount of money, maybe like tax returns in a few months or something, apparently there's like a really good chiropractor in my area and I'm gonna get that dude to like bend my back at a 90 degree angle and fix me right, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be nice. I can't ever get my back to crack. I just stretch it and it feels okay. And any height that's above like 5'11, I'm 6'1 or 6'2, but like once once you're around that height, it's like the world is not built for you. Like everything's too fucking small. Every table you sit by, you have to hunch over to do anything. Like bad, dude. All through school, all the desks were too small for me. Like you're just cursed with a bad back once you surpass a certain height. It's freaking awful not looking forward to being an old man. Did I, like, what is this? Is there a fucking dead end here? That sounds like a mummy. Does that not sound like a mummy? Tell me that sounds like a mummy. I gotta wander around this area. There's a mummy around here somewhere. I can smell him. I smell those pharaoh pheromones on him, dude. That's King Tut. Walking around with his weird little leg. Oh. Maybe if I rest it'll... No, no, it's probably too close to me. Well, where the hell would it be? I'm not touching these things. I'll show you. Sometimes they teleport you. Sometimes they instantly kill you. Right now it does nothing. But like there was one time I went and activated a little floating skull and it just immediately killed me. 
I... Ugh. Ugh. What are we doing, Bethesda? Come on now. There's probably some hidden door that things hide behind. God damn it. There was a different teleporter in this other room, was there not? Or am I just, like, imagining shit? When I got paid a few nights ago, when I got my paycheck from work, I got, like, a few different, few different boozes. Got a few beers that I wanted to try out. And I got, um, a co-worker of mine was re recommending this bourbon, okay? I haven't had bourbon before. Hello. Oh, it's a fucking zombie making that noise. Yeah, I haven't had bourbon. And this is, like... It's, it's, it's the Jim Bean Devil's Cut. And I bought it because it apparently is like, you know, when they, when they age the stuff in a, in a, in a wooden barrel as they do. Oh, here we go. Get, oh, fuck you. That was a dang mummy. That was a dang mummy, dude. And there's fucking ghosts everywhere. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Give me the dust. <gasps> And he's got a note, too. I forgot about the note. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. I'm out of here. Let's just loot a little bit. What was this? Hand? Oh, yeah. This, this Devil's Cut stuff. When they're aging it in a wooden barrel, they, I guess, don't use the the alcohol that's actually, like, filled up with the barrel. They extract it from the walls after the barrel is empty. Like, when it's still wet, they get this stuff right out of the freaking walls of the wood. And then that's what's in the bottle. So I'm like, that sounds intriguing. That sounds delicious. Okay? I like a nice smoky, woodsy flavor. I don't mind that at all. I used to just freaking, when I was a little kid and I was having like popsicles or something, I would just sit there and chew on the popsicle stick. I like the, I like having wood in my mouth. So I buy this stuff and I noticed, unfortunately, I guess because my, my palate is still underdeveloped. Whenever I have anything that's more than, like, 30 proof, it just tastes like rubbing alcohol. Doesn't matter what the hell it is. It always just tastes like rubbing alcohol. I have strong rum. I have frickin'... I have whiskey. I have, like, all these different, like, hard liquors and everything. They all taste the fucking same because it's, like, 30 plus percent. And I'm like, this is fucking nasty, dude. And on one hand, it's like, okay, well... You want to develop your palate so you can learn to appreciate this stuff. But on the other hand, like I mentioned a long time ago, developing your palate means fucking regularly consuming it. So, that's not great. <laughs> this parchment was used, was used as a wrap for the packet of powder. Some of its message is now illegible. Lady Mid. Okay, dude. I mean, Lady Medora probably, but yeah. Very, very interesting. Okay. I'm glad I actually found that. Uh, Dureni Tower? Tower Dureni? Should be Dureni Tower. That's how it's spelled. Yep. But, um, I got a little, uh, like one of those tiny, tiny little bottles of, um, Patron Tequila. Which, if I remember right, is like 45% alcohol or something. And it was decent. That's the first tequila I've ever had on its own. It wasn't too bad. It's just... I... I, I didn't care for the, the super alcohol flavor, but I feel like if I had one that was like a weaker tequila, I would appreciate it. Like I... Whatever was... Whatever was underneath all of that tasted pretty good. Um... Fuck, I hate having a go through here and like clear this place out every single time dude fucking sucks okay let's see what i can remember from this shit i need to be using my spells more often i'm never gonna get to level 11 not that i need to but it'll probably help get some what is this fucking noise okay it's done there was like this white noise sound i, I was not a fan of that ouch can you not throw fucking green snot rockets at me please thank you nasty lady I'll take that little heart. Those are danger hearts. They're worth like 500 gold or something stupid like that. I haven't sold any of my ingredients, so I don't know why I'm bothering with that. I'm just, I'm still hoarding all of them. Ugh. See how much of this place I can remember to to get through without having to go and look up the guide. I think last time I was here, I went through it all in one go on my own, but that's because I had recently cleared it out before that. A mummy again. What's this he's got? 
Okay, potion of purification. I've they were there was one of them for sale at the order of the hour, and I didn't buy it because I don't know what the hell it is. Do I go through this? Yes, I remember going through here. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck potion of purification. Maybe it like cures your like poison or diseases or something. I'm not too sure. There's no description. I hate how like these old games that the descriptions for stuff like that is always so freaking vague. You know what I mean? Okay, I remember that one. Hello, I don't like you. What, can I rest? Nope. Steal their stuff. Very epic. What was this door, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but I gotta fucking levitate to be able to get up there. And I can't do that because my man is empty because I done went and spent it all. I was being magically irresponsible, dude. Come on, man. Oh, I can't go up that? Oh, that's just a normal wall. I thought that was that. that. That's totally at an angle. Look at that. Climb. Climb, damn you. Okay, never mind. I fell. I gotta go find a little hole somewhere to hide in so I can rest. I don't have enough to... No, I have three fucking points. That's not gonna levitate me. This chain... There's a chain up here that just randomly, or it, rather, it automatically gives you levitate. I, it seems to only work on the first time that I'm here. Okay, never mind, I'll go fuck myself. <laughs> the second time I was in here, I used that chain and it didn't do anything. So, I don't know. Where am I going up this staircase? Yeah. Hello, you. This sword's kind of freaking sick, dude. I don't think that's the right staircase, it's the other one. Oh, there we go. If I can get at least a little bit of magic. There we are. Nice, nice. All the way. Okay, sick. Long blade increase. Switch weapons. Unfortunately. I want to use my axe or my, my sword some more. Because it's Daedric and cool and new. And maybe I'll find a little Daedric axe sometime. Okay, fucking um, hi. Jesus. Oh! Good heavens. Get a little shield, get in there. I don't know if my shield protects me against magic damage or not, but that's, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm going the right way so far. I remember all this. Use a little shock here. Hoya. Oh, yeah. Get some of that in ya. Binch. Okay. Then it was through here. No, it wasn't. I gotta go down somewhere. Must be here. Can I rest? Nope. There's vampires down here. Huh. I knew you were there before you showed up. I'm familiar to your tricks, you harlot. Huh. Little wraith down here somewhere. No? Where'd he go? He's always down here. Oh, there he is. Asshole. My goodness. Get out of here. Quit staggering. Fucking collect yourself, Bob Schloppimus. Oh yeah, that's how levers work, for sure. Just go and snap the thing right out of its socket. Why not? Activate. Thank you. Jesus, fuck. We're almost there, folks. Almost there, almost there. Yeah, we got the lich up here. He's gonna push my shit in. Can I rest? Of course not. Okay. A couple ghosts here. I'm going to not use spells on them, and I'm going to use my spells on the lich. Well, I keep forgetting I got my little magical items, though. I'm sure I got something I can use there. What button is that again? You? Yeah. Oh, my potions show up here, too. That's good. I'll use my little sapphire of shocking. Ha ha, hee hee. I don't think that did anything to him. I will use another one. There's a button to just recast whatever spell you just used, but that's uh, that's for people with like functioning brains. I'm not doing that. What the fuck? Where did it go? Did it only have one use? What was that? Sapphire of Shocking? Oh. Okay. Oh! Ouch! My goodness! Fuck off with that, dude. Jesus. Okay, let's use a little... Not a potion of healing, but... My healing fancy armbands. We love that. I'm gonna use another one. I've used this like crazy. They've never, like... They've never run out of charges. I don't know if that happens in this game or not. I'm gonna... Oh, I can rest. I did not expect that. I was gonna try that potion of purification and see what it does, but... Fuck it. 
was gonna see maybe it would regenerate my uh, mana. Oh! Yo! Okay. <laughs> I, I think I reflected his spell and he killed himself. Oh my fucking god, look at that. Enchanted Daedric Warhammer. That's probably worth a shit ton of money. Um, 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 F6. Forgetting all my controls even though I've been playing this. Oh my god, what? You can- hold on. No, 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 no. What? I can dual wield? No, dude. Okay, no, it just switches. It just switches between the two. I cannot, in fact, do will. That would have been sick. Um. Bam. Bam. Fancy armbands. Where are they? Oh, I got full magic. I should just be using my heal spell. I'm not going to get experience if I'm using enchanted items, probably. That's how it is in the other Elder Scrolls games. Hello, Medora! This is indeed the dust of restful death. As for that letter, it was from Gortwog. To me, though, I had never got it. What? Why would the mummy have it? I heard from him later that his orc warriors were slain attempting to ambush the assassins. What assassins? I'm so lost. Gortwog and his orcs are not the villains most people seem them as. That's an interesting way to fucking word that. Edwire and the court of Wayrest have never been particularly loyal to the Empire. To assassinate a king is treason. I will have my revenge, but first I must find out why Edwire would risk this. How do we know Edwire... What? Was there some part of that letter I didn't... Get? Hold up. It, it, it just said... Lady Med, and then that was it, right? What the fuck? Did I press the wrong button on it? Okay, there was more to it. I don't know what the hell I did there. Maybe I hit escape by accident, I'm not sure. Lady Med, favor, this is all in like fragments. They intend to slay him. I am sending Urs to stop them. He must support, or you must support me. If the Empire finds I have attacked royal advisors of Weyru, then of if they are assassins. My people will never win the same status and respect as the Khajians. However, with your support, I could. A hero of the Empire and win respect for my people, Gortwog. Warl. Okay. Even though the letter is half gone, it still presents some interesting information. Now that you have the items, return to Medora. Beepity boo. Hee hee hoo. Ha ha ha. Okay, I guess I guess some part of that fucking incriminates Edwire or something. I don't freaking know, dude. I will need a monster to prepare the dust. Come back to me in that time, and I will give it to you along with the instructions for its use. Okay. There should be some other quests that I have unlocked in the meantime. I'm just going to see how I start them. It looks like the only thing to do here is actually just wait a month. Yeah, and then see what happens then. Uh, there's this optional quest, the Mantella Revealed. Which is that one I was talking about a few times, like a, a little while ago, about trying to get a letter from the Mages Guild. I don't remember if I got that letter or not. I kind of think I did. I wish there was some way I could check my reputation with people. That's the Maybe I can search that up, actually. Hold up. Because once you get to Reputation 50 with the Mages Guild, apparently that's when they send this letter. Damn, Evoker's only 20. Oh my goodness. Okay, how about this? How about this? Because I still got some time to, to fill this episode out a little bit. I... First off, I'm going to hit recall. I didn't hit... Uh, oh, no! Bro! This is literally the worst time to not use recall. This dungeon is why I got recall. Because it's, it's the teleporters and shit. So now I have to... I gotta pull up the walkthrough and find out the, the, the way out of here. Okay, maybe there's not anything else I'm gonna do. <laughs> I was gonna travel to like a mages guild really far away so a whole bunch of days would pass. That way we can get to this month thing and then just do a Mages Guild quest or two and 
try to work on my reputation. This quest isn't essential, by the way, this one that I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna try to fucking find the way out of here on foot, I guess, because I forgot to hit recall again. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I'm not fucking impressed with myself. Oh boy. Okay, I gotta get back to the room with the big old pyramid, I guess. Apparently if I'm fast enough, I can- oh my goodness. I can bypass some sort of, like, trap or something. You need a... What the fuck? What is that, orcish? Yeah. You need, like, a speed of 70 or higher. I'm at 97, so I should be good there. Maybe that'll make things a bit easier for me. I don't know. I've never freaking done this before. I've always remembered to use recall, and for some reason today I was just like, let's fucking make my life hard, actually. So, so cool. So impressed with myself right now. I don't know, maybe if I get out of this real quick, we'll we'll go see what the mages guilds got for me. I'm not going the right way, am I? Well, this kinda these tunnels surround the pyramid, do they not? I should come out in the right area. Go away. Go away. I'm gonna electrocute you now. Go away. The old fork in the electrical socket trick. Okay, down the stairs. Fun shit as usual, folks. Hello, Mr. Fucking. Hi, I'm 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 Mr. Wall. Guy's stuck in the wall. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Nothing but good jokes here. Nothing but good jokes here. Okay, there's a teleporter in the next room. I just heard some crazy fucking noise in the distance. I don't know what that was. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta go through here though. I know that. that noise. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it says, leave this door locked because there's an enemy in there. Dude, I'm not some freaking pansy. I'm not some freaking fella. There's a boogeyman. There's a boogeyman in there. What is it, dude? Come and get it. That's just a wraith. Wraiths don't make that noise or a ghost or whatever. Who goes there? Nothing, bro. Whatever. Oh my god. Oh no! I don't have enough mana. It wasn't letting me rest anywhere. And now this dude's playing some like fucking 100 gex or something. Thank you, he turned it off. Now it's back. I'm dead. Wait a minute. I can, I can just use this while I'm paralyzed, can I not? Oh hell yeah, dude! This guy's screwed. He doesn't even know it. Come on, unparalyze me, you fiend. Unshackle me. How long is this gonna last? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why are his slabs base boosted? Come on, man. I remember paralysis lasting this long with any other enemy. This is nuts. The purification potion just healed me and made me invisible and there's some kind of flame effect going on in the left there. I have no idea what that is. Very cool. I kind of thought it might regenerate my mana. It did not. What the fuck? It's not working. My healing fancy armbands. They're not healing me. Oh shit. Now what, dude? Can I silence him? Okay, that probably did something. <laughs> Can I paralyze him? Try that out? I don't think that one worked. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Good! Okay, this is where I got my, my fucking, my shit rocked. No, it wasn't. Okay. We all. This is where. <laughs> But now I'm prepared, you fiend. Get shit on, dude. Fuck you. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Apparently, this is it. Oh, yeah, no, I'm here. Sick. Okay, that wasn't, that wasn't terrible. Alright, alright. 
Okay, I need to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff here. So I'm over encumbered. My goodness. It was like 30 pounds of ingredients. Okay. I'm out of here. Get on freaking Adderall. There he is. I am going to go. Okay, so I'm here. What would take me a really long time to get to? Probably Yikalon, Northmore. I'll try. This dude's just got so much to say sometimes, man. Loves yapping. I'm gonna travel on foot. I'm gonna travel on foot through the ocean. And I'm gonna camp out. And I <laughs> hold on, hold on. I don't wanna wait too many days here. What is that clicking noise? That is annoying as hell. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take a 23 day trip. Just so I have a few days to do some Mage's Guild shit. If there's even anything I want to freaking do over here. You're entering Northmore, indeed I am. Let's save so I don't have to enter it a second time. Okay, waiting. Hee hee and hoo hoo. Okay. Can you, there we go. There be a mages guild here? There should be. This is like the capital city of this area. It's probably one of those. Probably that building right there, I'm assuming. Excuse me! Everyone just hates me by default. Every single person I talk to. Just keep going north. Okay. We'll see what they got. We'll see what they got. I got about maybe 15 minutes or something. We'll see if they give me something quick to do. If not, then we'll do it next episode until we get this uh, this vision from from good old lady Medora. What the fuck? An unfamiliar. Oh, it's just every time I go to a new city, it's this shit. I already know what this letter is. It's they're gonna give me a new werewolf name, and they're gonna be like, "We're hunting you down, boy." Duke Darkulius. That's me, bro. <laughs> oh my god. There's my little Wu-Tang name generator right there. I'm Duke Darkulius. Sick, bro. Come up with the dumbest fucking names in this game. My god. I met a... There was one character I met recently. His name was Belcher, I think. <laughs> When I was playing the other night, B-E-L-C-H-E-R, just Belcher. He was like some old man and his face was stuck in like a fucking, uh, like a, like the, the, the Wojak, the Soyjack face with his mouth open, like that's what his fucking character model was. Pretty cool guy. Oh my goodness. I, that was a temple up there. I'm so fucking not okay right now. Where is it? Northeast. So what is this square one? It must be, I guess so. That's odd, usually the fighters guild buildings are just like little squares. But yeah, no, I walked by a temple recently, so I must have been a temple that I thought was a mages guild. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, this is a new layout. Oh, I don't know where anyone's gonna be. Sensor, big, big frickin' adoring fan across the whole screen right now. This lady's got her boob out. Huh. I don't wanna buy spells, okay. You? Yes. Doubtless you have heard of the crazed wizard Rodane Hartham. Of course I have, dude. Given the enormous power he has at his command, Duke Betterick Yomhouse has been delaying any offensive move against Rodan Hartham. But that strategy is at an end. The Duke has asked us to send someone to destroy the psychopathic mage in return for a magic rare symbol. Would you do that for us? Yes. Yes, indeed I will. Excellent. I knew that you would not let us down, Bob Shlopimus. Now then, Rodane Hartham will be in his laboratory at Ruins of Old Lysana's Farm. That sounds familiar. For at most ten days before moving to a new location. The Duke wants word that the mage is dead in ten days, so do not tarry after doing the deed. I will see you in ten days. Okay, okay, okay. We will hunt down an evil nasty mage 
next episode, folks. I will see you on Friday. First, grab a plate. I'm using a paper plate. I know they're bad for the environment, but I'd rather put a gun in my mouth than do another dish. Next up, the bread. I ran out of the good pieces of bread, so I have to use those weird end pieces. Not ideal, but we'll make it work. Next up, grab your peanut butter. I don't currently have the top to my peanut butter, because I'm using it as an ashtray. Now that you got your peanut butter, grab a utensil and start spreading. I'm using a plastic fork because, like I said, I refuse to do dishes ever again in my fucking life, and I ran out of plastic knives. I know some of you in the comments section will complain about me using plastic, but I bet you wouldn't say that shit to my face in real life. If this shit ever ends and we go outside again, I dare you to step up to me in the street. Try me! Try me! Step up, you fucking pussies! You think I'm fucking right? There you have it, the perfect peanut butter sandwich.